what's up guys welcome to a not youtube channel in this video i am going to teach how to upload file using node.js and react.js before that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe the channel it's helped me to motivate myself to make more videos like this and don't forget to share the video as well because it uh, can help someone to get here and watch videos and learn something new okie dokie before explore the code, let us uh, see the demonstration of the project. In here, we have simple uh, React.js uh, UI to upload files. Let's uh, upload the file. Okay, uh, I'm going to select image in here. Let's select this one. Okay. Oh okay uh, our image was uploaded as well as it's uh, showing in here after that uh, response get the url of the image and it uh, in shows here so then uh, let's move the our uh, firstly let's move our front end code okay this is our front end uh, react Neo js application in here uh, as a UI framework, I use uh, Andy UI framework. In here, I uh, imported uh, one icon, inbox outline icon, and as well as uh, from the Andy, I uh, import image, message, and upload component. In here, uh, I get uh, let's little bit zoom the screen. Okay, uh, now you can see clear the code okay uh, in here uh, upload component i uh, destructure the dragger uh, one so in here i uh, declare the uh, use state uh, after that uploaded the uh, our image uh, get response uh, and that response set to the this uh, state in here i uh, declare the props uh, as a uh, variable and in here uh i use image file because uh, multiform uh, form we use a uh, file name so we need to give on the file name so that file name uh, in the back end i declared as an image file and so as the name i use image file in here multiple attribute post uh, then if you want to upload the multiple files uh, images so you need to uh, true this attribute uh, i use uh, headers as uh, accept application json and access control origin all in here uh, i given the url of the our endpoint in here action attribute so our backend run on port uh, 400001 so in api v1 and upload so in here on chain function we have a status so we can after the uh, status done it is show the uh, this file uploaded and also set the uh, response as well so in here a uh, little bit uh, our ui uh, component so i give the uh, padding as a hundred hundred uh, so in here uh, i use draggers uh, dragger and uh, that uh, declared uh, props uh, one i destructured in here so all the attributes are now uh, can can get this dragger so in here i uh, add the image one so our response dot data that's mean our url come in here set the this uh, image okay uh, now let's move the back end part and uh, explore the code uh, this is our uh, back end application uh, as usual i uh, create a simple node.js application with express framework uh, and we have uh, two endpoints in here uh, like my previous videos this is simple uh, node.js uh, application uh, Apart from that, uh, in uh, tutorial, I use uh, TypeScript as our programming language. Um, my old videos, I use uh, uh, JavaScript. 
uh, but in this video I am use uh, TypeScript uh, let's uh, explore the package JSON file and as a uh, uh, dev dependencies I use uh, ens list TypeScript nodeman and ts node and other uh, framework types express uh, esnet plugin and Preser. and depend as a dependencies uh, I installed cause express and multi this multi package we are used to uh, pile upload in uh, mostly uh, widely used uh, npm package we use to upload uh, files image anything you want upload the server so that uh, package help us a uh, lot predefined uh, functions so let's move the apts one in here i uh, import express multi and cause uh, packages after that i initialize the serv uh, server app and in here i uh, declare the port number uh, our uh, Express server going to run, and here I uh, add the course, uh, initialize the course to our app. In here, uh, using multi disk storage function, we uh, create the storage, and our destination uh, file uh, we declared in here. So we have uploads file. So I given this uploads as a destination. Uh, after that upload the our file uh, we need to get a file name because we need to save this uh, in here uh, we use original file name to save our file uh, if you uh, upload the image uh, uh, with name uh, something uh, hello uh, it get this original name as hello and save it if you want change uh, you give unique uh, name to your name uh, file in here adding uh, something code like plus and likewise so after that is appended the original name in here i uh, declare the variable called upload and multi storage and this uh, storage initialized to storage uh, one in here i am use uh, express as uh, express statics uh, function uh, to add this upload file because uh, at the end we need to send the uh, our uploaded file url in, into front end so in express we need to uh, access the static file so we use this express statics uh, function in here so this is our uh, first endpoint app post uh, called api v1 and upload this endpoint i created for upload single file in here we have upload one upload this is upload and we only need to upload what single file so we use upload dot single and you remember uh, we use uh, we need to get a, a, a file name so in here i gave image file so that's why uh, in here i gave name as the image file uh, okay and we have a function request and rest uh, both are uh, type any because in typescript we have to give uh, this uh, request uh, variables type uh, so we have a try catch in here if they have an error in our endpoint it sent simple error message called uh, message as a error file upload pair in here uh, line 28 we check uh, is uh, record rec file is empty if it is empty no, if empty we use uh, error message please select image file to upload also in here line 32 we check uh, file meme type uh, in here we check uh, this file uh, type actually uh, we this is not want to be uh, image you want to upload pdf you can check in here pdf so according to your requirement change the uh, meme type uh, check the meme type and uh, add uh, validation part in here so this according to this line we can only upload J, jpg file uh, i will show you up, upload and the file type and uh, this er error message uh, okay uh, after that we have uh, this url variable so 
in here I pass a fourth number and after that I uh, pass the uh, path of the file uh, our um, uploaded file path so it is going to save in upload so in here it is uh, shows as upload the uh, slash uh, file name uh, in here I uh, declare the response uh, variable and they have a message and as a data I pass the URL then it is sent to the uh, as a response into uh, front end okay now let's uh, check this endpoint using postman okay I have a single upload uh, <coughs> Uh, this is our URL. This is the post request. So as a form data, I gave in here image dash file because in here as a file name I gave that name. And now let's uh, select the uh, image. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, select this photo and let's. send the request okay uh, now you can see uh, our uh, image was successfully uploaded we have uh, our image data URL and our, that shows a simple message image upload successfully let's open this uh, image using our browser okay uh, tab in here and no quotes see now you can get that image url okay uh, now let's upload png file this is the png format file let's see the validation work okay see you can now uh, we get error please select the jpg image to upload because we have in here uh, check the meme type is it a jpg if it is not return this error message okay uh, that is our single uh, file upload endpoint in here i uh, declared our second endpoint multiple upload as endpoint uh, in here i use uh, single because we use uh, upload single file in here i use uh, array because our data get as array and image file name from uh, file name i use image files in here as a usual and we have a try catch uh, in here check is there have empty files then it is send the error message and here here i declare two variables called response success array and response fail array in here I declare the response and message response success response pair and here I use polo to iterate the uh, image array because we get the multiple image as array so in here using polo I iterate each image in here I use by length of the array length of the image array and then here I check it is a meme type uh, jpg if it is not jpg uh, file uh, that image url uh, actually this is not image you are just we add the uh, file name okay uh, in here i add the uh, file uh, name of the uh, failed uh, file if it is not jpg file it is going to push this array response pale array if it is an image file it is successfully within uh, this url it is uh, pushed to the response success array then it is uh, sent to the response okay now let's see uh, test the multiple upload uh, url okay uh, before that i uh, delete this uh, file two files up previously upload okay uh, select our images from here we have a, a png file as well as a three jpg files so when we uh, in we uploaded the this uh, four files 
we need to success three images url and one failed image name okay now open this button and upload as you can see uh, successfully three images uploaded and one image fail that image name uh, shows in here this response fail uh, array see uh, copy this one of uh, url and right i've uploaded uh, images file in here uh, that's it in this video you saw how to upload files using uh, node.js and react.js uh, our uploaded files are uh, saved in our uh, server this file called uh, uploads but uh, we have another option uh, so we can use third party our save our uh, files in our the, we can use third party service to uh, save our file so like uh, amazon s3 bucket or azure uh, blob storage in the next video i hope to uh, get you how to uh, save file into that uh, third party service using node.js so keep in touch uh, with my channel and thank you for watching